What is the Jao's strategy? To rule the world. One of the weapons which he uses is riba. Riba. He has to enslave mankind. There are those amongst mankind, particularly in Singapore, who are very welcome to Dajjal and who would want to support him and assist him. The ruling class in Australia, in Britain, in the United States, in Europe, hmm? modern Western civilization, they are supporters of Dajjal. But the world of Islam, I don't think I can include the Saudis yet with their BMWs, friends of the United States. A friend of the United States is a friend of Israel. <coughs> yeah. A friend of the United States government is a friend of Israel. You want to challenge that statement? The world of Islam which opposes the Dajjal has to be enslaved and has already been enslaved today. And we say this is what explains it. The poverty of Egypt, the poverty of Africa, the poverty of Indonesia, the destitution of Bangladesh. We say Dajjal is what explains it. This is the hakika of the world today. If you have another explanation, we invite you to present it. This is our explanation, that it is Dajjal who is the mastermind behind the world economy today. And because Israel has to replace the United States as the next ruling state in the world, and for this you'll have to read my book, Jerusalem in the Quran, which is outside, and for those who are Malay, it is also in Bahasa outside. That book was written ten years ago. Ten years ago, Jerusalem in the Quran. Because Israel has to replace the United States as the third and last ruling state in the world, we are now witnessing the controlled demolition of the US dollar. It's not happening by accident. They are actually demolishing the US dollar so that the US economy will crash. So that the United States can no longer function as the ruling state in the world. Israel has to wage big wars to become a ruling state, like Britain did and like the United States did. And perhaps I can be wrong, I can be wrong. All this hype that we're hearing about 2012, 2012, 2012 is because they are planning to launch their big wars, particularly against the Arabs in 2012. But you cannot launch your big wars against the Arabs, against Egypt in particular, so long as Muslims have a weapon with which they can respond effectively. And Muslims do have such a weapon because Pakistan is a nuclear power. Yeah. And Israel does not dare to launch a big wars so long as Pakistan has the capacity to respond with a nuclear weapon which will destroy Israel. Israel is like Singapore, a sitting duck. Singapore can't fight any war. That island can be finished in one minute. Hmm? <laughs> and so, <laughs> don't need a PhD to understand. This is the reason why they planned and engineered and executed 9-11. Because they want to get to Pakistan. That's why they gave us 9-11. Hmm? 
and they blame Afghanistan for it so they could position position their troops in Afghanistan not because they want Afghanistan no because they want Pakistan that's why they're in Afghanistan they want to destroy Pakistan's nuclear plants and destroy Pakistan's nuclear weapons there are large numbers of people in Pakistan who are now listening to me because I've been saying this for 10 years now this is why you had 9-11 and the Pakistan military the people who control the armed forces they know very well who did 9-11 very well on judgment day I hope they'll stand up and be exposed they know who did 9-11 and they cover it up because they are hand in glove they are hand in glove with the Zionists I'm not speaking about all the people in the Pakistan armed forces don't be so foolish don't be so foolish I'm talking about those who are in control of strategic decision making in the Pakistan armed forces and the Pakistan uh, uh, government these are the traitors these are the traitors and so maybe next year the attack will be launched on Pakistan break it up destroy the nuclear plants this is I'm not saying that this is going to happen I'm saying this is what they're planning what's wrong in my saying that this is what they're planning will they succeed well given the conduct of the leadership of the Pakistan armed forces and the Pakistan government I see no reason why they should not succeed when you have these traitors in charge hmm? so Egypt will be attacked as well because the Bible says that the Holy Land extend this is the rewritten Bible the rewritten Torah that the Holy Land extends from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates it's there in the Torah it's false but whoever did that rewriting in the Torah is now responsible for the whole world being destroyed with the coming nuclear war because the Holy Land extends from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates according to the false Torah the Jal has to ensure that the state of Israel expands its territory and the first step of the way is to topple Mubarak and the next step on the way is free and fair elections and the next step of the way is for the Ikhwan to win the elections Ikhwan who are now fighting the Yankee Jihad and when the Ikhwan win the elections and you have Islamic government in Egypt <laughs> then the Islamic government in Egypt must now support the Palestinians particularly in Gaza and then you can start crying from the top of your voice terrorism terrorism Egypt terrorism so you have a causus bellum you can say this is a threat to Israel now <laughs> you see so you create it so you can use it as a threat to Israel to launch your war against Egypt it's so simple and so Israel takes over from the United States as the next ruling state in the world will it happen? this is the plan will it happen? I don't know but all that they have done so far they have succeeded so I don't see any reason why they should not succeed in this last step as well but time will tell not, not long again and when Israel takes over from the United States as the next ruling state in the world if it happens then this man will stand up in Israel and declare I am the Messiah and he will be Dajjal in order for him to rule the world he has to enslave all those parts of the world which oppose him and his weapon with which he enslaves his economic weapon is riba and so the Muslim youth in this so-called 
glamorous world. Better study the subject of the job. Money lending on interest is one form of interest.